Welcome to Beyond the Blueprint, your destination for India's most ambitious infrastructure stories. Today, we take you deep beneath the mighty Himalayas, into one of India's greatest engineering achievements, the Atal Tunnel. An extraordinary project that has defied terrain, temperature, and time, this tunnel is not just a road, it's a symbol of India's resolve. From military strategy to regional development, and tourism to connectivity, the Atal Tunnel is a game changer. Let's rewind to the late 1990s. For decades, the Rotang Pass in Himachal Pradesh was the only route to Lahul Spiti Valley, often shut down for six months due to snowfall. This severely limited military access to Leh and created immense difficulties for the locals. In 2000, during a visit to the region, then Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee announced the vision to construct an all-weather tunnel beneath the Rotang Pass. And so, the seed for the Rotang Tunnel, later renamed the Atal Tunnel, was sown. But turning that vision into reality meant facing some of the toughest construction challenges ever attempted in Indian terrain. The Atal Tunnel is located in Himachal Pradesh, connecting Manali with Sisu in the Lahul Valley. Stretching a massive 9.02 kilometers, it runs beneath the 13,000 feet high Rotang Pass in the eastern Pir Punjal range of the Himalayas. But why is this location so important? Because the tunnel provides all weather access to Ladakh, drastically improving India's military logistics. Cuts travel time between Manali and Keelong by 3 to 4 hours. Shortens the Manali Lad distance by 46 kilometers. Boosts tourism and economic development in remote valleys. Constructing the Atal Tunnel was anything but easy. Imagine digging through one of the world's most unstable geological zones, at altitudes over 10,000 feet, where oxygen is scarce and temperatures dip to minus 30 degrees Celsius. Let's break down the engineering behind it, length, 9.02 kilometers, height, 3,000 meters above sea level. Built by, Bureau, Border Roads Organization. Technology used, NATM, New Austrian Tunneling Method. Cost, 3,200 Indian rupees crore, approximate. Construction period, 2010 to 2020. The tunnel includes, emergency escape tunnel within the main tunnel, a first in India. Automatic incident detection systems, CCTV surveillance, and communication systems. Fire hydrants, air quality monitors, and ventilation every 60 meters. 24-7 drainage systems to counter water seepage. One of the biggest engineering challenges was water ingress. Engineers had to deal with massive water discharge from Seri Nala, up to 3 million liters per day. Advanced grouting and drainage methods were deployed to divert and seal the inflow. Let's journey through the construction timeline. 2003, geological surveys began. 2010, Foundation stone laid by UPA government, 2012 to 2014, major breakthroughs made in rock blasting and tunnel boring. 2017 to 2019, finishing work, road surface, and safety systems installed. October 3, 2020, inaugurated by PM Narendra Modi, and renamed the Atal Tunnel in honor of Vajpayee G. It was not just a tribute, but a symbol of continuity in India's long-term infrastructure planning. The Atal Tunnel has sparked a silent revolution in the region. Here's how, tourism boom, remote regions like Sisu, Keelong, and Lahal have become tourist hotspots. Homestays and businesses are thriving. All-year access, for the first time ever, people of Lahal can access Manali year-round, even in peak winter. Emergency services, ambulance and relief services are now faster and more reliable. Cost savings, reduced fuel and transport costs for both civilians and military. According to estimates, over 5,000 vehicles use the tunnel every day during peak seasons. The Lahal Valley reported a 600% rise in tourist footfall within two years of its opening. We can't forget the tunnel's biggest beneficiary, the Indian Armed Forces. In case of conflict, India can now move troops, artillery, and logistics towards Ladakh swiftly, even in harsh winters. It reduces dependence on airlifting troops through Leh, and allows logistics round the clock. 
In fact, Atoll Tunnel is part of a broader connectivity plan including the Shinkula Tunnel and the under-construction Zojila Tunnel, to ensure India is battle-ready on all Himalayan fronts. Work doesn't stop here. The government is now planning to extend this connectivity further, Shinkula Tunnel, 13.5 km, to connect Lahal to Zanskar. Manali Leh Highway Upgrades for Faster and Safer Travel Eco-friendly development plans to preserve the fragile environment. BRO and MRTH are committed to turning the region into a model of high-altitude sustainable infrastructure. But no project is without concerns. Over-tourism has raised fears of ecological imbalance. Waste management and unregulated hotels are a growing issue. Locals demand sustainable tourism policies and stricter building codes. Heavy snowfall still occasionally blocks approach roads, needing better snow-clearing systems. The next big challenge is to balance development and preservation, a tightrope every Himalayan project must walk. The Atal Tunnel is more than a passage through the mountains. It's a passage through India's resilience, innovation, and aspiration. From the dreams of Vajpayee Ji to the hands of BRO engineers, and the people who live above and below it, the tunnel stands as a testament to what India can achieve when willpower meets engineering. So the next time you travel through it, remember, you're not just crossing a tunnel. You're crossing history, effort, and hope. Did this story inspire you? Have you been through the Atal Tunnel yet? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Beyond the Blueprint for more stories of India's incredible infrastructure journeys. Until next